Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where, <clears throat> as Germany, with our treaty-restricted fleet, we suddenly find ourselves in a war with the British, which is uh, a little concerning. So we're moving all of our ships over to uh, operate in the North Sea. Um, <clears throat> we are training our crews up as fast as we possibly can. Uh, I think I'm actually going to start build, doing some shipyard building as well. Um, just in case we get to the point where we can actually build a battleship. Um, and very sensibly, uh, my chief advisor, Telemony Dan, <laughs> has wisely suggested that we wait to see what the British ships are like before um, we start to respond by building our own ships. Uh, hey, paramedic. Hello to you and hello to your rookie as well. <laughs> right, let's hit up next turn. And we were immediately blockaded, <laughs> which was partly what I was concerned about, um, which, of course, completely ruins our economy, um, which is why I, I kept the, the budget up. And that's not a... What the hell is a... Okay, sometimes I do not understand the game. The Mecklenburg, which has a cadet crew, I'll point out, Oh, Toby suggested it for... Sorry, Tom and Dan and Toby Silverstone, the, the, the advisory team. <laughs> the Mecklenburg is in being, in being, with a cadet crew in Emden. How did it get <laughs> to the coast of northern Spain? And why is it being attacked by a bunch of destroyers? Withdraw. Result, failure. Oh, well, okay. It's worth a try. <laughs> run away <laughs> run run away Jesus fucking Christ that's close you know what fire torps run away <laughs> run away <laughs> Torpedoes straight away. There's one there as well. Which is uh, possibly worse. Run away. We're out turning our turrets, which is uh, to be expected. See, I'm worried about this set over here. Could be very, 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 very bad. Won't we'll get your ass out of the way. Good job. Okay. I think if we get a wiggle on we'll be alright oh my giddy aunt firing torps back apparently but uh, oh that's a 360 turret that's pretty neat alright dead ahead Mecklenburg you just need to get past them because there's no torps out here. And uh, yeah, I'm playing this on real time for now. Hey, Dex makes text. <clears throat> Spin in worry circles, yeah. Circles does work. Uh, but uh, in this case, we just need to power past those ones. Yeah, we fired torps at basically nothing, but I'm not expecting to get any sort of. Oh, we just got a hit. Nice. Any sort of hits with the torpedoes. Anyway, we can have a look at their destroyer design. Okay, they do carry a reload. No armor. Pretty fast. Not loads of guns. Okay, what kind of torps are they? 20 inch, fast. Hmm. Okay. 
turbo electric engines. Interesting. So yeah, they can easily catch me if they want to. Some more torpedoes coming out from that one over there. I'll be firing our own torpedoes back. That's that's our torpedoes out. Again, that's that's more to uh, disrupt the enemy and uh, get them to go some other direction. But if they've got fast torps, what's their range? 9.8. So we're getting get out of 9.8. <laughs> We're going to head straight away from them. Tempting though it is to try and uh, murder a whole bunch of destroyers. I'd uh, rather make a getaway. Urn seems to be chasing us. Again, cadet crew. Um, they're not going to be great at hitting destroyers. Hey, paramedic. Uh, you, you can be part of the Admiralty. Everyone, chat is the Admiralty. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the biggest ship I've got. Um... I've got plenty of ships that, that will be good at killing these, and these will be excellent at killing these destroyers um, when I don't have a cadet crew on board. Um, <laughs> and when I don't start right next to them. Now, my plan is just to uh, get away as fast as possible. Um, well, maybe, maybe get a bit of cheeky... Uh, Cheeky shooting with the other turrets in. Be nice to do a little bit of damage. Get some gunnery practice in. That kind of thing. Because they are faster than me. Oh, there we go. Lovely. You only need to hit them once with an eight, and they'll uh, they'll slow up, and they'll they won't be able to catch up. Because so we we can do thirty two, and they can go faster, but. Just need to slow them down just that little bit. Get them to go away. The other thing I can do, of course, is to uh, try and trick them into shooting their torpedoes at long range, or their maximum range anyway. Because uh, they'll be easy pickings once they fire their torpedoes. Okay, another hit. Lovely. <laughs> hey, Nage! Nice to see you. Uh, although, hilariously, I'm not using the Steam version to stream this. Because uh, the Steam version seems to use about... 100% more GPU power for some uh, CPU power than the non-Steam version for some reason. Come on, Ern. You know you want to shoot torpedoes at me. We just got a hit on the um, ribbon behind it. Flooding here. Yeah, go on, retreat, you bastard. There you go. Because if we can get them to fire their. Uh, Torpedoes at that sort of range, so the urn's now completely out of torps. Might be able to pick a couple of them off. Or at least control the fight. After that, <laughs> pretty hectic start. Yeah, cadet crew and your turret can point at the bridge. <laughs> Although, I think the actual bridge is here, but yeah, it's still, still scary. Oh, nice hit. Yeah, get those two-inch guns involved. Just enthusiastic firing all round. 
That's what we need. Come on, Wyvern. You're at a bad angle to fire your torps. You're going to have to turn. And at least slow you down so you can't chase me anymore. The robber I think I'm going to have to be careful of as well. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy to spot those torpedoes. Right, ignore him. Oh, that was his first shot. Okay, I'm going to have to be careful with that. I assume that they'd all fired. Oh, flash fire. Uh, that helps. You going to shoot me, Robert, or are you just going to run away? You're running. Okay. Next. The Marmion. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I thought you might be using the Texas Speech Paramedic. Yeah, don't worry about it. <coughs> yes, private training session. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't know, maybe we were sent to interfere in the Spanish Civil War or something, but why on earth we are in the southern Bay of Biscay, I have no idea. Still though, let's just send a bunch of the destroyers back to the docks, even if I can't sink any. Are annoyingly resilient. Yeah, maximum bulkhead destroyers. Good flooding on the Marmion. Retarget the main guns onto the musketeer. Marmion flooding, and as she turns, she fires the torps. And so does Musketeer. Nice if we could actually hit her, though. Oh. Loyal fires as well. Time to do some uh, more aggressive maneuvering then. Loyal's on a reload, Musketeer's on a reload. Badger still has torps. Okay. Shoot up the badger, please. Mind you, if Musketeer's on a... Yeah, badger's the one I have to be careful of. You can catch him on a reload. Uh... <laughs> Picking up a US Army liaison officer. All right. Right, get the secondary guns working over the musketeer, please. They don't have anything super sneaky like side torps, do they? No. Just like everything on the musketeer. She's close enough that I think we can take her out. Nice to actually sink one of these damn things. The uh, badger can't fire because of where the musketeer is. Yeah, she's turning away. Loyal. Well, I mean, I think pretty much all the destroyers have taken reasonable damage. Even if there's no kills. Sea trials for the heavy cruiser? Yeah, pretty much. Got some decanters. Ooh, very nice, Nage. Clean them with uh, moonshine. <laughs> Loyal getting extremely close. I'm assuming so that a four inch guns have a chance to do something.
Taking a lot of hits for it, though. She's off. Oh, nice. Nice extra hit. But uh, let's focus on the badger. Using a lot of ammunition to do this. <clears throat> uh, so this is a bit of alternate history to Chinese. So um, this is taking place after my UK campaign, where you know I'm sure you can guess what happened. <laughs> Those, uh, people watching this on YouTube will know because it's going up after that. Um, and uh, yeah, new restrictions placed on Germany. You can think of it as part of the peace treaty, but um, yeah, I have used the historical London treaty. Yeah, yeah you can use uh, ships as kind of shields because they tend not to fire at friendly ships. Okay, the badge is out. Let's see if we can uh, turn the tables because quite a lot of those sh uh, destroyers are out Urn is out. Loyal's on a reload. Rather has a full set. But uh, it would be nice to actually sink some of these bloody things. Oh, fuck me. Did not see you there. Have the opportune sneaking around. Okay, she needs dealt with. Situational awareness and all that. Come on, you're going to shoot at me in any second. I know you are. And yeah, you don't have torps. So that's fine. Tune being really, really annoying. I don't want to go on a course two um, parallel to hers because she will taught me then. Flooding, that's good. Slow it down a bit. Yeah, the Mecklenburg is not brilliant firing purely rearward because the five inch guns can't fire completely backwards. More flooding. Engine damaged. That's very good. Okay. She's turning. Is she going to fire as she does? Nah, she's backing off. Kill the urn. Try to again, cadet crew. <coughs> not, not the best in the world. And go, of course. What's keep? What keeps happening is, ah, oh, yeah, we killed one finally. Uh, as as they rotate out, um, we we can't really pursue them or, or focus focus fire on them or anything like that. Ooh, that was a nice hit on the roller. Women coming in. She does have torps. Hey! Hey there, Iron Dave. Nice to see you. Oh, Iron Moustache. When did you change that? Um, nice to see you, though. I'm uh, desperately trying not to get blown up by destroyers at the moment. Ooh, destroyed a torpedo. Perfect. I think they still have one launcher left, though. 
Hard to tell. Musketeer does have torpedoes. Just fired them as well. Fine by me. It's come about. Oh, you shaved off the moustache. Oh my god. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> It is a long swim back to Germany. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe the crew is uh, sufficiently motivated to uh, keep themselves alive. Loyal coming in. We need to switch up to her. She, yeah, there we go. It's going to do that. No. Go for the women again. Right, we're getting very low on the main ammunition. I'm going to get all of them to save. Save your ammo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing a little bit of a, a hard mode campaign because I, I, I've completed all the uh, campaigns kind of doing it regularly. So <laughs> I'm trying to trying to do the campaign with only only starting with kind of a, a treaty limited navy. So I only have these things: eight inch heavy cruisers. I've got some light cruisers. I've got some destroyers, and that's about it. Okay, took down the women. Let's focus on the loyal. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, Artorius Dux Bellorum. Yeah, we've got plenty of 5 inch shells and plenty of 2 inch shells. And uh, with the 8s on save, um, should be okay. But uh, taking out this many destroyers. You know, if I can take out, I mean, how many is that now? Two, three. Uh, it, it really will massively help us. Even if we can just damage them a little bit more. Once I run out of ammunition or, and things, I'll, I'll just end the battle. But um, yeah, badger, no torps, musketeer, no torps. So we can close in on them. Yeah, <laughs> cadet on the wheel, just like going crazy, swinging the uh, the uh, <laughs> the ship to him to and fro. Ah, always fun when you have stories, paramedic. <laughs> that sounds like a good one. I won't read it out, of course, because I'm uh, I am re recording this. All right, uh, flooding, flooding, go. Excellent. Should be able to kill the musketeer with the second grease. Let's go and have a look at the rest of them. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. Musketeer is making a break for it. Um, Marmion, Opportune, Rother. And they all three of these have some torpedoes left. But if we take a look at the Musketeer here, um, they can't fire their torpedoes aft. They can only fire them port or starboard. Good hits. Come on, musketeer. You know you want to sink. Good 
good. Okay. Right, how fast are these guys able to go? Seven. Oh, no, that's Musketeer. That's the sinking one. Uh, 23, 23, 20. Okay, so we'll be able to catch up to them, no problem. <coughs> uh, sorry, paramedic. Uh, part two got caught by Automod, because Automod hates you. Uh, I will. I can still read it, though. Uh, right. Nice. Delightful. <laughs> what what lovely people <laughs> you get to interact with, paramedic. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, so the guns are on save. So if they get a good good read, so if I have them target the opportune, they, they will shoot at them when they have a, a reasonable chance to hit. But uh, that's not quite what I was meaning, so I'll switch them off fully. I have to say, though, this ship has done remarkably well. Uh, I did not expect a cadet crew. When I saw that, I just thought, I'm just going to lose a heavy cruiser immediately. But uh, this cadet crew has done alright. Oh, that's, a, that's, that's something at least, paramedic. That's good. I should be. I will be ahead on destroyers. I think, um, which will be a big plus. Because of course, this 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 is you know this is a fairly standard heavy cruiser. It's designed to fight other cruisers, mostly. Um, really design it for facing down a horde of uh, destroyers. I will just keep an eye on the opportunity to note six before she can shoot. That's excellent. Thank you very much for the follows. Uh, J-Dog 894 and Bacon X1. Hello there, Commissar Shotgun. <sighs> okay, that's a pretty good chance to hit. She's lying. I'm assuming you're shooting it. No. Shoot them army in. Thank you. Come on. Nonsense. Right, there we go. Just the roller to go. And, uh, well, there might be another one. <laughs> Destroyer somewhere. But, uh, if there's one that's run off, I'm not going to bother chasing it. Oh my goodness, Scumbrian! Thank you very much for the sub. That is hugely appreciated. Thank you very much. Well, there we go. <laughs> Damn. Eight. Eight destroyers. Damn. That's pretty good. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Light damage to the Mecklenburg. Uh, but I'll take that for um, eight destroyers. Obviously, we lose transports, which is going to absolutely screw my money over. Uh, there's two more. Light cruisers. Light cruisers destroys. Okay. Um, I think I will do those this this episode. Mm, or will I? No. I'm going to stop the episode here and I'm going to do the battle and the convoy in the next one. And I'll see you there. Bye for now.